What's up guys, AK Crazy Russian with you today. Uh, trying not to confuse you with a lot of wires and different devices, but I'm going to show you in a couple of videos, like pretty much step by step or major steps, how to connect NC power cap set to computer interface and running uh, trains with uh, two different uh, wireless throttles and GMRI server running on my computer Windows with Windows 10 but before it's mostly like some of you may be thinking it's like beginner step but from beginner step will go further to advance so when I got my mistake I made when I got first time NC power cap I didn't uh, honestly I didn't read the manual First connection took me like a couple of minutes to figure out I, I did it wrong. So before all that jazz, when you get your, um, maybe you have it already and everything's working, but for first time users, you know, you're connecting that six wire cable to that side of the panel here, all right? And that's your power supply and output to the layout and you testing everything all right but I'll, I'll just keep uh, talking about con con connections and that coal cable cool which is I connected wrong from the beginning <laughs> with NCE manual it says exactly and this is great diagram hope they will do it bigger but that's that's very good so with that coal cable it connects to this side of the panel and throttle connects to that side of the panel and USB cable to the computer. So power supply and output to the layout, same thing. Well, after you connect everything without computer, again, interface, you just guys need to test it. So we have engine and of course I tested before, it's operational. I'm going to change directions. There is no really uh, on and off button means cutting the power in that uh, system. It's pretty much always on. All right. Now I'm going to show you my desktop. So I'm running GMRI. Just we're not gonna go overview any anything like in details. Just show you. Uh, all everything in green healthy I have two devices here wirelessly connected to um, Y throttle server and everything gr green in here and that's what you need to get again I'm changing directions on the engine and you see the light is operational we're, we're still good so in the next video, I'll show you in details how to probably troubleshoot connectivity with the USB. We're going to the top camera. USB interface running uh, with the computer because there are some issues I want to point out. So that will be all for today. Uh, thanks for watching, supporting business and channel. Have a good one. Bye-bye. What's up, guys? AK Crazy Russian with you today. I'm continuing uh, set up. Top camera. NC power cap with um, NC computer interface. Different devices on wireless network. All right. So in the first video, I set it up everything working and just we'll make sure it's working still working uh, top camera right corner yeah working and I can unmute it mute it back so it's cool that must be done I'll talk about computers a lot so try my best not to do complicated stuff so to do this you need a computer with Windows 10, 7, I check it, it's working. Uh, I use, 
probably four years old Mac with updated um, operating system it works too but I I'm on PC because a lot of stuff working on PC so first problem can happen that USB when you connect it uh, interface with uh, like printer cable people calling it it's not gonna detect automatically and will troubleshoot it right away so we're going to that's I'm just trying to show you possible on Windows 7 computer a long time ago I use it um, I think it's at the store computer it just detected automatically but on two machines I have uh, it didn't so when you connect it you will see uh, in device manager some message here you know uh, with exclamation point some device saying it's not driver installed properly or something like this also they mentioning here that's a very good point the LEDs on USB computer interface not always stay on they only flashing I'll show you see some flashing one here and one here when data traveling only from those nodes on the network okay just pay attention to this actually I got this guy working stays on because it was mistake probably I didn't read um, didn't put correct ID we'll go over it so to fix this going back to desktop just um, to to get to this page I just typed uh, let me see what I did NC USB driver get to that page look at device manager something wrong and then to the next it might change uh, later but that's the idea so it's moving to different page of manufacturer of that comport uh, device that's your driver for Windows 10 and different drivers for previous version of Windows okay so I download this my is probably 64 bit version extract all install bingo that thing um, disappears so detected properly all good now we're going back to desktop and I'll show you just step by step how I uh, set it up so I start GMRI and in edit first you start in GMRI is probably saying like uh -uh, I'm not seeing your digital system let's get it first so going to preferences selecting connections here and see it will be a bunch of different ones right then selecting um, connection and see USB then uh, whatever USB version I I think I didn't even touch it I changed the COM port let me know guys if you want me to explain more about different COM ports why I change it I can do um, additional video because I have a lot of different uh, devices here and the system power cap right here additional info information showing the current speed right now on the device I'm just going back top camera on the device here there are like four jumpers jumpers here okay uh, in the manual it says special configuration supposed to be a, a faster speed but what I found so far I'm happy what I have so I didn't do anything with it so they just sitting on one leg here that's how you're getting uh, when you're buying it that computer interface so let's go back to the desktop so we call here saving and usually uh, software re restarts automatically you need to run white throttle server so what you're doing actually let's go this step first and I'll come back you need to configure your uh, USB interface so here you need to type your um, cab ID it's usually two by default and when I type the wrong one I think um, that's 
LED turns red, so we're not touching it, it's already set up, not messing with the system. Then, very important, uh, show caps. You need to refresh this, it just it's automatically actually refresh it. And you select, you can automatically refresh it constantly. And what I see here, it's my power cap here and USB 3, 2 and 3. That's what on the network and actually showing what functions actually uh, functions available actually using. Let's see. All right. Now I open the white throttle server. It starts automatically here, as I mentioned. So in preferences, you're going to white throttle here and selecting it. Uh, start automatically that check mark with application so it's always on all right and then first time you need to run it automatic uh, automatically again so in um, Windows here you start white throttle okay in my case it's already running all right so looks good so far let's try it if i hit the f8 button here the engine starts supposed to be unmuted and with f5 the lights uh, ditch lights on all right okay let's go back to the top cameras here let's check the engine side camera oh looks good if I change directions, it's reverse right now, and it's forward. Yeah, my white throttle, I'm doing this on the computer. Let's do it on the throttles. Okay, so we're going to top camera. All my setup is here. You see the engine, and if I'm pressing F5, my ditch lights turns off. And headlights here okay f8 unmuted all right this is iPad mini and this is white throttle application it's free or you can uh, get additional features uh, in pay version this is engine driver and this is GMR working with GMRI on the Android operating system okay now uh, let's quit this exit yes when I'm uh, starting that make sure you on the same network on wireless network I and I am on the same network so all your devices and the computer so when I'm starting engine driver and I have a question from one of my um, subscriber why it's not uh, he cannot get it to work because it's not detected detecting automatically in my case here with default because I'm usually not changing anything just for simplicity this will pop up automatically in your white throttle devices I'll show you in the desktop here see that's my Alexander iPad and uh, as soon as I hit this button on uh, on the th on the phone you will see engine driver all right so that's automatically selecting here then I'll just go to the top camera here I'm selecting address of three of the locomotive acquiring boom it's it's done same thing here and you see same feedback on that throttle okay let's mute it again and let's look here in the settings so your server configuration 
here is supposed to be turned on then it will uh, the message pop up that's your white throttle server and you just confirm it with it all right so going back to application well let's run it so I believe we already our oh, F5 and changing directions and slowly beautiful soundtracks decoder when the engine run in it will be just it's it's great already all right so with this i can change only here to forward it will maintain same speed sp step one and just change direction well i can stop it right here Okay, let's do same and you'll check my desktop on in this area okay how the functions working and such as stuff like that so I'm on I'm pressing back reverse direction and start running engine well, unfortunately, I can run it very quick, but you will see potentiometer here will be going up. So I'm put forward here and see it's just getting that message. And as I mentioned before, the LED on the computer interface will be like flashing. Stop. See? One more time. When the signal traveling through the computer interface. Yeah, pay attention on uh, computer interface. Okay. F8. Mute it. Well, um, that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. I try my best if you guys again want wants me to do like very deep like really step by step exactly what i'm doing i'm glad to do all those videos for you all right thanks for supporting business and channel have a good one bye bye